Hello! Today I'm gonna use Affinity Photo and remove the tripod and the tripod shadow. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so open and this is DNG file and it pop in. It goes to when you should DNG, it goes to this uh, develop persona. And uh, uh, my camera is always shoot kind of desaturated in uh, DNG. So um, we're gonna fix this one. So I gotta pump it up the uh, saturation over here. Boom. Maybe like crank it up all the way. And then maybe a little vibrance, maybe a lot. I don't know. Here we go. Huh. That looks good. Since 360 photo exposing whole entire 360 you know exposure here so here's a sun right here overexposed in this shadow but I think it's doing pretty well so we fixed the uh, saturation and vibrance and then maybe like clarity because it need to be a little bit more sharp here yeah, I think it looks good for now. And then we're gonna fix the shadow and highlights. Mm. So bring the highlights down. Maybe like all the way down. Does it work? Not really sure. But here, open up the shadow. Uh, it looks kind of washed out. So maybe like contrast. Yeah, it's kind of strange color. And also you can maybe correct the white balance a little bit cooler. Okay, maybe like, oop, kind of too blue. Oh. Uh, what do you think? All right, so let's say this is good. <laughs> and um, yeah, so after you think this is kind of good, and then you do develop, hit the develop, and then processing right now, so give it a minute. All right. So it goes to this um, the mode uh, photo persona. So we see this photo, and here's a tripod on the bottom, and a shadow here. Uh, you can use like Photoshop and stuff like that uh, if you have a subscription base. Then you have like 360 mode and like easily fix, but I have older uh, Photoshop and uh, don't have the 3xd editing mode so when I do clean up this tripod legs and shadow it looks like a what it called cat's butt effect <laughs> uh, but Affinity Photo is a cheaper program and I do a pretty good job so what what I do is basically turn this one into the 360 mode here so layer click the layer and light projection and a quick equi rectangular projection so it will take you to the 360 so I always kind of do wrong way disorient this so like bring it down press left click and press down drag it down here so there's a tripod here so you can zoom in with this here plus and minus and I'm gonna remove this tripod now you know to do that use a brush you can use a healing brush tool or pads but 
Um, today I'm going to use an uh, ink painting brush tool. And here's a cursor brush right here, I mean a circle. And you can change this uh, circle um, size by this bracket. And uh, you kind of set it up here. I think that's good size. And then left click and then paint it over where the tripod is. Yeah, I'm not doing a good job, but. And then after you paint it over and then let go. Let go the left click and this program gonna process it and I did a kind of little sloppy job so like maybe paint it over again see how it works yeah not bad and then here okay maybe try this one too Now here is shadow. And let go. And here. And let go. I think that's shadow too, I'm not really sure. But left click and then paint it over the shadow and then let go the left click. Uh, it kind of bothered me right here. So let's change to a healing brush. It's kind of same thing in a flow and uh, opacity and stuff like that and take a sample and here's all take a sample here see how it goes and paint it over I think that's better and also you can do here the shadow you can do something like that too with a healing brush if you want but I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the um, the in painting brush tool here again and move this one and because this is I think this is kind of easy and fast and I paint it over here again all the way and let go the left click. Now it's gone. It looks good this time, one time here. But um, we lose this uh, 360, the cursor, you know, just move around this. Only the section you can see on the bottom here. So we're going to bring it back to the 360 mode to look around. So go to layer again and then edit projection this other way to do it too but I'm gonna show you later okay so we back to the 360 mode here as you can see and I look for the shadow okay there's a shadow right there right here I'm gonna remove that one so same thing grab the imprinting this one in painting uh, brush and just paint it over left click and paint it over the shadow and let go the left click and give it a minute and boom it looks good alright 
so I think it looks everything good so other way to go back to 360 mode is the this right here the move tool click on that one and bring back this uh, bring this uh, edit live projection so you click on this one and then go back to 360 mode and uh, when you want to save this one if you okay you gotta use that something called export like a uh, lightroom but you have to go back to the um, layer and the projection and they remove the projection if you don't do that and if when you export it only it only export uh, this part not whole entire image so if you wanna export you know this much is okay but you have to like projection and remove the projection you know to export the whole entire uh, 360 photo yeah okay so so it looks good then click again and export and they to give you the export setting PNG JPEG TIFF PSD hmm. okay and uh, we're gonna export in JPEG and highest quality and quality 100 and uh, export I'm gonna cancel so that's all and uh thank you for watching bye